Good morning, everybody. Your amigo Nico here at Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. Want to make a video? We just got in from the factory, the brand new R Pod 201. If you've been following R Pod for a while, this is the second tandem axle RV that they've released. The 202 has been phenomenal, but if you don't want to slide, this is a great alternative. Starting out up front, we have a two and five sixteenths ball here. It also has an electric tongue jack. So the great thing is, you just press and hold the button. It'll go up and down when you hook and unhook. That way, you don't have to hand crank. It also features a light out front so you can see early in the morning and late at night. You also do have a manual override here in case of worst case scenario. It includes one propane tank here at Cliff Jones. We will make sure that it is full. We will install the battery, wash it, detail it, and give you a full walkthrough with our technician where they show you how everything works. Also, it does feature the new hard plastic panoramic window in the front. This opens outward to allow cross ventilation, and you can also look outward while you're laying in bed to look up at the stars wherever you are camping. It does also feature a privacy shade and a sunshade on the inside. Here we have the front storage compartment. Great thing about the door is that it does have a magnet versus a clip, so you don't have to worry about it becoming brittle and breaking over time. It's also super easy to open with one hand. We do have four manual stabilizers all the way around here. This is the front pass-through storage. Great storage here. You also see all the accessories you get with our pods. So we have the outside shower gun, the hose, RVQ quick connect for the outside kitchen, a little mount for the outside kitchen and the 30 amp power cord there. Also with the windows, they are tinted for more privacy and energy efficiency, which is really great to see. It does feature a large electric awning as well with white LED lights. We do have power out here. This is where the RVQ Quick Connect is for the griddle that is included. Here's the little rail where you place the stand on. Now this is a dual axle. It does feature independent suspension for better towability. And this particular one does include the Goodyear Endurance tires, which is really great. Some of the best tires on the market. We also have a spray port here for an outside shower. That's gonna be cold water. We also have the tempered glass door, which is really great. Now I know I've had a lot of customers that are concerned about security, but you can see here, it does have a hard uh, backer, just like a regular door. This is also ready for a thin shade. We do have them available in parts. During the day, you can't really see through, but at night you can when the lights are on. We do also have a screen door as well to keep bugs out and this is a friction hinge door so it holds itself open uh, in you know pretty strong wind so that's really great to see versus the old style doors that have the uh, little plastic locks on them that break we also have extra large door handle as well it does have three folding positions makes it much easier to get in and out versus RVs that have tiny little handles we also have the more ride step above steps which are really great some of the best steps on the market they're very easily adjustable it's just a little button here you just press that button and you can raise and lower each foot exactly where you want it. So here we are, the R-Pod 201. This is an aluminum frame for your main structure. The uh, sidewalls are laminated for better insulation and hold up better in heavy rain and hail. Also with the R-Pods with Asdell construction here behind the fiberglass, you have less than 1% chance of delamination. Most other brands use uh, Luon, which is over glorified plywood. So this is stronger, lighter, better for the environment and gives you better insulation. It does feature a bumper on the back so you can put your sewer hose in there. We also have LED lights, much brighter and safer than incandescent bulbs, and they'll practically last a lifetime. It does include a full-size spare. It is ready for a backup camera. If you'd like to add one, we have them in stock. Backup cameras can save lives. It does also feature a ladder as well, so you can inspect your roof as you should periodically. Also, this is a PVC roof as well, one of the best roofs on the market, and it's practically maintenance-free. We do have a six-gallon rapid heat propane and electric water heater here. A lot of brands are only propane, but with our pod, you do have dual power. So if you run out of propane at midnight, as long as you have shore power or generator, you can still get hot water without having to refill it. I do have my little battery box hooked up here, which is how I have all the lights on and everything. This is your 30 amp power in for main power. It is ready for cable and satellite. This is the intake and exhaust for the propane furnace, which is your main heat source. You can see it's got a few windows around here. This is the exhaust for the range hood in the kitchen that actually works. It will vent outside. We do have a black tank flush as well. So whenever it comes time to dump your tanks, all you have to do is make sure your valve is open, hook up a water hose here and the nozzles clean it out for you to reduce smell and give you more accurate tank reading. Here we also have a secondary uh, spray port as well. Here we have the dumps for the gray and the black tank. So here's your sink and shower, the gray tank, and your toilet, the black tank. And we also have the low point drain as well for winterization there. Coming up front, this is gonna be your fresh water in if you wanna go off grid, dispersed camping. 
the built-in pump inside will work with battery. You just put a hose in here, it'll go ahead and fill it up, and then you don't need pressurized water. If you're using pressurized water, then you're gonna use this here. You wanna make sure you use a water pressure regulator, which keeps your PSI between 40 to 50 PSI. And then this is where we dump the fresh tank down there, that little white nozzle. So this RV is 25 feet, two inches total. It weighs 4,111 pounds empty and 6,390 pounds gross vehicle weight rating. Here's the other side of the pass-through storage. You do also get a battery disconnect as well. So if you store your RV, all you have to do is turn that switch off and your battery will not deplete as fast versus others. Great thing is you now have a seven way holder. So you do need a seven way for your tow vehicle. This communicates lights, brakes, and will charge your battery as long as you have a direct line charge. And so nice thing is it just keeps it out of the dirt and you can store it right there on the side. Coming inside. As soon as you walk in, you have a nifty recliner right here. This does include a table that attaches, uh, just pulls right off if you ever want to, but it does attach to that pre-installed little mount right there, which is really neat. So you can both share this little table. You do also have power and USB right here by the jackknife sofa. This does lay flat into a bed as well. And you have the furnace exhaust there for heat. Multifunction radio here, it will play inside, outside, or both. Overhead storage here. And it goes all the way down to here. Another set of USBs and power there. More overhead storage here. Here's the range hood that does work. It will vent outside. Two burner propane cooktop. This glass insert acts as a backsplash to protect the rear of the cooktop there. We also have a convection microwave that you can bake in. Whenever you own an R-Pod, you really join a community. So one of the rites of passage of owning an R-Pod is baking cinnamon rolls in the convection microwave, which is really neat. This RV is also pre-wired for solar. If you would like to add solar, we can get with service and definitely add that. But this is where the solar controller would go. Great thing about this RV is that it is a 15,000 BTU AC and it is thermostat controlled and inducted throughout. So you can set whatever temperature you want. It'll turn off and on just like a home. We have a residential style faucet here. One piece undermount stainless steel sink, which is much more sanitary than plastic. Storage underneath the sink here. Now, great thing is, if you like the 202, this is uh, from the bathroom forward, just like the 202, it's a pass-through, which enables you to have a much wider bathroom than others. So this is a really great setup. You have a big shower with a skylight for additional headroom, plenty of room around the toilet, dedicated sink, lots of storage throughout here, and plenty of drawers as well. Coming up front to the master, we have a pocket door for uh, the bathroom and for the master as well. Really space efficient design. So we have a window here that opens, the panoramic window as I was telling you about, and the window on this side. I really appreciate the backlit wards here for hanging clothes. I think it looks super sharp. You have a nightstand on this side for food and drinks, uh, more power and USB there, and same on this side. Underneath the bed here, we do have storage. This is gonna be the griddle that is included. That's a suburban elite griddle. You can also mount a TV here as well. Pretty good size TV. And you have the option of 12 volt power or main power. Additional storage here. Here we have the propane electric fridge, tried and true design. Works really great for going off grid. Additional storage here, super deep there. We do have a built-in vacuum with our pod as well. So all I have to do is turn it on, sweep it up to this little area here and it goes inside a canister. We just have the converter and breaker box here as well for troubleshooting. And the TV that is included is here. This is also the panel as well to where you monitor your battery, monitor your tanks from empty to full. You can also control the water heater from here and the water pump. We have the awning control and light control and additional storage there. All right, guys, gonna sneak over from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I'd love to serve you at the highest level. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a call, give me a text, 979-413-9554. This RPOD 201 will not last long. Contact me today, and I hope you're having an awesome Saturday. Thanks for watching.